Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today we're going to have a look at iBooks author and see what we can do about putting movies in there. Well, there's a couple of different ways of doing it, so let's get started. Well, the first thing that we can do is we can go to Media and we click on Media, click on Movies and go to where the movies are kept up on your computer and here I've got some. Have a look at this one here, which is the creating captions either on the YouTube website or in ScreenFlow. Check the video out if you haven't seen it already. And I'm going to choose that one. Let's double click on that there. Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Macton Questions and today I'm... that just gets, starts playing for me and all I've got to do really is just to drag it and drop it into here. It's optimising the movie for me. Supposedly in this version of iBooks Author, the iBooks Author will accept more video types than it did before so that's quite good. And once you've got this thing in there you can put it wherever you want it. So let's say we're going to put it there in the middle of the text. We're going to go into the details here about whether we want to have uh, some layout changes. Maybe we don't need the title in there, maybe we don't need the caption in there. So what you need to do is just to size it up to get the text to flow around it the way that you want it to flow around it. So that's one way of getting a video into your iBooks. Now the problem with that is the fact that it's going to make your iBook rather large because movie files tend to be a bit on the big side. So what you can do is to look at a couple of ways of putting it in where you've got the movie streaming instead of being embedded within the book itself. So let's have a look and see how we can do that. Let's say we want to put in a movie over on this side of the page over here. There are a couple of ways of doing that and a way of doing it is actually to use these widgets. You can create your own drop zone widgets using dash code to put into this dash code widget. And then again, what you could do is you could drag one in from somewhere else. Okay, so let's click on this edit HTML. And now what we've got to do, we've got to go to a website and get the code to put in there. So let's go to Chrome. And this is one here called Bookery. Now this is fairly simple. You've got to put in some static settings. So if it's a landscape book, put it in for landscape here. If you want to have a different sort of cover image, you can do, or you can have it create the image from the video itself. These static settings, if you make any modifications to this, then you have to re-download it. These live settings, you can put this in once and it'll change um, interactively, shall we say. So put in your widget title, get your video link and put it in there. You can put a start time in there and end time in there if you want to. And if you want to have it from the start from the beginning and to end at the end, then just leave those empty. And then you click on download. And when you click on download, you're going to get this youtube.widget.zip. Here we go in the downloads folder. And this is the one that's just downloaded. I'm going to unzip that and unzip it into the same folder. And that has unzipped as youtube.widget. This widget that we've just unzipped, what we've got to do is we've got to get that into iBooks Author. So let's put it over here into Yoink. Okay, it's in there now. Go back into iBooks Author and get this from Yoink and drag it into HTML. Yoink, by the way, is a super way of getting things into a full screen application from somewhere else. So it's doing a little bit of buffering there and we can click on Done. Not worry about that. And we can set up this again so that it fits in the space better. We can have it so it goes across the whole of that screen there if we want to. We can say on how we want it to look. So let's go to layout. We probably don't need a title in there. We probably don't need a caption in there. And if we want to, we can actually have this so that it's smaller and takes up less space. So basically you set this up so that it fits into the space where you want it to go into. Okay, so that's our second way of getting videos into our iBook. Let's go for another one. Let's go on to another page here. So we're at the end of this book here now. And let's go into the Chrome browser again. And this time in Chrome browser we're going to go to iBooks Generator. Now this one's a little bit easier because you only got to put in one video URL. We've got a video URL in there. I'll click on Generate. And what that's going to do is going to generate the YouTube bundle.zip. I'm going to go into my finder, go into the downloads folder. It comes down in a similar way in a zipped up file and when it's unzipped you get this YouTube bundle widget. So we're going to drag this and drop this over into Yoink again. I'm going to go back into iBooks Author and let's get our widget going up here. So we click on this one here. Stick it in the middle of the page but I don't want it in the middle of the page, I want it over there. So 
I'm going to sort the layout first, get rid of the title and the caption, don't need those in. I'm going to click on Edit HTML. And now I'm going to drag the widget into there. And once I've done that, I can click on Done. So there you go, we've got two widgets in there sorted out. And this one here is the one that's done with iBooks Generator. And it was very easy to do. We can move it around and put it wherever we want to set it and so on. We'll leave that there. That's a good place to put it. And now what we want to do is to go into our iPad and have a look and see what the book looks like in iBooks itself. So let's do that next. OK then, so here we are on the iPad now and I've got iBooks open because you have to have iBooks open to make this work. Let's go back into iBooks Author and we're going to click on Preview. This is the one that's there first and opens up a new one. So here we go. We are in our title now, our iBook that we've just created. Now this is the first video that we put in there, which is the one that I put in and it's embedded into the book. I click on the play there and it starts playing straight away. I can zoom it up to full screen. How about that then? Cool. That's nice and easy, isn't it? We'll click on pause, click on done, we'll get that out of the way. These ones here have been put in as dash code widgets and they're going to stream. So let's click on this one here first. This is the one that we got from Bookery. As you can see, we've got a thing up in the top left hand corner there, which tells us it's from Bookery. And I should imagine that there's a possibility that if you pay for the Bookery service, you might be able to get rid of that uh, logo in the top left hand corner there. Let's click on play and see how it goes. Obviously, because it's streaming, we're going to have a bit of buffering to start with. And then once it's um, buffered enough, it'll start playing. And it's taking a while. That's the trouble with having things out streaming, but at least you don't have a iBook that is huge in size. So you can see it plays perfectly well and it's streaming. Probably the quality is slightly less than if you've got it embedded in there. Let's go to the next one and you'll see this one works just as well. So let's click on that there. OK, now we've got a smaller thing on the screen there and we don't have any icons and showing it's from any sort of site or whatever else. So that's OK. Let's click on the play. It comes through a bit quicker on that one. I think it worked a little bit better there, that did. So you can see it is quite possible there to play your videos streaming. Obviously, you're going to have to be in a Wi-Fi connection to be able to do that. Or if you're going to be streaming over 3G, you could be talking about uh, seriously biting into your 3G data limit. OK, so there we go. We've got three ways of bringing movies into an iBooks authored book. And there is another way of doing it, and that is for you to create your own dash code. And if you've downloaded Xcode and you know what you're doing, it's not that difficult. But there's three easy ways of putting movies into your iBooks. So this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.